always hated Shakespeare's Othello. It's a harp play. It's obnoxious. It's the stupid black guy surrounded by people manipulating him. And you think, what is wrong with this picture? <laughs> you know, it's just unbelievable and annoying. And it goes to this dreadful, uh, you know, kind of Formula One smash up that is just, you. what did we learn from that? You know, it was horrible. And all my life, I didn't like it. And it was a way for great actors to stand up either, well, by the time I came along, people of color, or before that, people not of color, but who liked putting shoe polish on their face, to, you know, it was just, what is this thing? And the play itself has this weird fixation and hold because it's in every school curriculum. You can't avoid it. And it was this endless Willie Horton ad that just kept playing for 500 years, uh, 400, and, and, and giving you an inept or outnumbered solo black person in charge in a universe that was foreign to him. And I just, I don't think that's the reality of our lives, certainly, you know, when we were growing up, and certainly in the 21st century, now that Obama is president, like, it's a different picture. Anyway, I was saying how much I hated this play to Toni Morrison one day, and she just said, you are very wrong. And she spent the next five hours quoting from memory and laying out this play for me and saying, this is a play about the language they use and that has been used in America to convince you that everything you deeply believe in and love in your heart is worthless and will never fly in this world, and you should abandon it. And if you want to get ahead, you buy into this thing that is very empty and very expensive, but will get you where you think you want to be. And we did that as a country. <laughs> and things of real value, we got rid of. And things that you could make a profit on, that were worthless, but you could make a profit on them, a huge profit, we bought a lot of those. And the result is a devaluation of the entire project of America. Shakespeare shows you the weird way in which very smart people can, can be convinced to abandon their own principles. Part of that is on Iago's side, to say, I am not what I am. You know, and we're seeing right now the whole planet very disastrous decisions are being made by very smart people, not by stupid people. The planet is actually being destroyed by smart people. Shakespeare shows you very intelligent people making the wrong choice, knowing they're making the wrong choice, and not knowing how to turn it around, or not being willing to turn it around, when they get chance after chance to turn it around. And they say, oh, sorry, I was wrong. Let's not go that way. And you watch people in the room who know how wrong it is and who know who, where the bodies are buried remain silent. You know, you watch people who could stop all of this in one sentence and say, oh, well, what everybody's not getting is this. Just remain silent and choose to remain silent and let the wrong thing happen in the worst way because you just said, I'm not going to interfere. I still have my job. I'm not going to risk that. And yes, all these things are wrong, but I'm going to be okay. I'm going to make it through, and I just won't stick my neck out. And you watch the play show you both smart people saying things they themselves don't believe and know better than but really selling it. And you watch what they have to say to themselves in order to do that. And then you watch other people knowing how wrong it is and choosing not to stop it and acquiescing through silence. And the play is the evil of people talking a lot and the evil of people saying nothing. And you get those two things in a world that just simply loses its bearings or its moorings. And terrible consequences happen. 
at very high levels to gifted, brilliant, imaginative, thoughtful, amazing people.